Previously on Third Place Baldur Gate 3, we finally got into the Goblin's Nest. We gave Gale his first artifact to absorb. We got the priestess to go into a separate room so we can try to kill her. These things are stuck. Ready to clear your head. What exactly are you gonna do? Whatever the Absolute tells me to. Don't worry, she loves you. I can tell. Change of plans, I'm gonna kill you. The Absolute will protect me. You don't stand a chance.
Nothing favors the fearless.
te faço. Kill the dead twice over.
for me. just consumes magical items like I do wine. We truly are a group apart. Nevertheless, as quirks go, that's a new one for me. The artifact seems to protect us somehow. Do you still have it? Quite the understatement, but yes, I have it. And I'll guard it with my life. And yet, you don't know what it is. That doesn't add up. It's called faith. Duty. It doesn't have to add up to me as long as I serve. I'm part of a bigger plan. One that will be revealed in time. How can you go to all this trouble and not understand why? I told you already. I surrendered my memories for the sake of the mission. Shah's secrets must be protected. Duty demands it. Once I fulfill my mission, I can have my memories restored. Blind duty, spoken like a true pawn. They tend to get sacrificed first, you know. How cynical. I should borrow that line sometime. But if I have to die, so be it. Like I said, faith. Why were you in pain before? The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. What causes it? It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me, punishing me, testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. Why would Shah subjugate you to such things? I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, 
It would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. So you know more than you were letting on before. I hope you'll be more honest in the future. I'll try my best. But secrecy is ingrained in me. Lady Shah considers it greater protection than any shield or armor. How can you manage living with such a thing? It's less difficult than you might imagine, when you can't remember life without it. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. I want to talk about Shar worship. I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. You should trust me. We're in the same boat after all. There's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah, mistress of the night and lady of loss. I assume you've heard of her? Remind me. My lady Shah is the night singer, the patron of darkness and loss. Fascinating. Please continue. Most fear the dark, like children. Because in darkness, they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear, beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide. We act. Pain, hope, the promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked beyond the vanities of mortals. How exactly do Shar worshippers turn people into their goddess? We tear down the lies the world is drunk on, the institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship, the lives they cling to. We destroy false idols, topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. There's often suffering, death even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. I won't cast judgment on your beliefs. Curious. Most are afraid of my lady. I think I did well by joining you. Most agreeable company. I want to get to know you more, Shadowheart. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? What drew you to Shah worship? She took me in when no one else would. Without her, I wouldn't be alive. She's my mother. She nurtures me, cares for me, loves me. Don't believe the lies the Salunites tell. Tell me something about yourself besides Shar, besides Tadpole. What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? Really? You've flown between planes of existence, but you've never been swimming. It's nothing to laugh at. Save your questions if that's how you're going to react. No, I can't. Quite literally, I mean. With my memories suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. And I can't remember much of myself either. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. You've had your memories suppressed. That seems extreme. Of course. It is an act of faith, not to be undertaken lightly. Shah will reward me when I succeed. Well, this is it. Thank you everybody for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. I know this episode was a lot of combat. This is the longest combat sequence I've had so far. See you guys later.